ladies and gentlemen. All right, NBA All Star, representing your Indiana Pacers, one of the most electrifying basketball players to ever touch a basketball court. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyrese Albert. Yeah. Adam, baby. Oh, whoa, 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 watch your job. Watch your job. We got to get hurt here. Hey, man. What up, man? Dude, hey, thank good. you for coming, dude. Having, Absolutely. Hell yeah. Excited about being here. Good fit. Hey, you are hot. Hey, listen. The way you play basketball is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. You're fun to watch. Off the backboard, the pass thing. You made this no-look pass whenever I was at the game against Utah Jazz, maybe from like foul line to the other foul line. You are everything that the Indiana Pacers have needed and wanted for a long time. Kendrick Perkins, though, told me you don't play any defense. Whoa. Whoa. Well, that's what he just that's said. What he just that's, said. A, that's literally what he you know just said. what else Kendrick Perkins said? He said, I can't be the best point guard in our conference because it's the system that I'm in. What's that uh, mean? I, I, you should have asked him. I don't know. Well, I didn't know that was a question. Yeah, Next time he's down. on, I'll ask that I was question. But Kendrick, I ran into him. Kendrick <laughs> asked me to ask you. He said, "There's two sides of you, the Pacers team. We're just we light up the scoreboard. That is the team that we have." Well, I mean, yes, we do do that. <laughs> uh, lately, we've been guarding a little better. Our offense has kind of dropped a little bit, so we're trying to figure out how we can balance both of them. How do you feel about the team? I know Spicy P coming in has obviously yep. been a big part of the storyline here around Indianapolis because this city loves basketball. Feel good about where the Pacers are? Yeah, I'm excited to add them. Um, obviously. He came back, I was hurt, and then I tried to come back and I got hurt again. And it's just been uh, just trying to get my health right through this break. This break is going to be good for me. Uh, hopefully we're, we're all healthy coming uh, after All-Star break and we can make a playoff push. Okay, so we talked to Adam Silver yesterday and we talked to him about the 65 game rule because of you. You're yeah. one of the big storylines of that entire thing. And he said, let's revisit it after the season and you'll still be able to go. How do you feel about how your body is? You say health, you're getting a little rest, but you're also competing in a three-point shooting contest as well. Yeah. How do you feel down the stretch? Uh, obviously, you're going to have to play a lot of games for a lot of incentives and a lot of things like that. Do you feel the pressure of that? How does the body feel? What do you think? Um, every day is a little bit better. Um, there's there's certain times in games where you know I might feel a little a little nag or something like that, but just got to get through the game. And I mean, listen, at the end of the day, if the 65 game rule wasn't a thing, I still try to be playing right mm -hmm. now, trying to help us win games. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm feeling better every day and just trying to get through this break, get to the second half of the season. How do we feel about the three point shooting contest? I feel really good about it. Ooh, really good. I just came from practice. Just came from practice. And what we got big buckets down there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, last year I had the record and then I choked in the second round, choked in the championship. So. I just got to be more consistent this year. That's okay, all. what's the mindset? Because it's it's three rounds? Two rounds. So you, everybody shoots the first round, then the top three or top four go to the second round, and then that's the championship. Do you get tired? Well, you know, last year I was, like, I think, the third person to shoot the first time, and then I was waited for everybody to shoot, and then I was the last one because I had the highest score. So I feel like they kind of iced oh, me. Oh, you got oh, cold. They did. Yeah, they iced me. That's crap. Yeah. That is absolute the, the crap. The home run derby, like for baseball, they have that the batting cage underneath. They should have a hoop somewhere on the side where you can can stay warm. But you know, I got a little arrogant too. Like after I got iced and Buddy and Dame went and shot, and I think the record they hit was like 19. And through every practice round, my low score was like 24. So when Dame shot 19, I looked at Buddy and said, it's over, thank you for coming. And then I went up there, and I didn't make a shot. I completely stopped. It was awful. Connor's got a question for you, Tyrese. Yeah, Tyrese, one thing that it feels like for you specifically, like you're cool with everybody in the NBA, I feel like. And I don't know if you're like the spokesperson for everybody. Like you were on Old Man in the Three, I think that was yesterday or a couple days ago, and you talked about the 65-game rule. Do you feel like the Pacers and yourself included, like you guys don't really have like a rival per se in in the NBA just because you guys all are such good people? Or, or what do you think about that aspect of it? Well, I think it's, I mean, at the end of the day, sports are about winning, you know, yeah. and I don't think we've, we haven't played in necessarily super competitive games. that haven't made a playoff push as a team yet, you know, so I think if you asked around the league right now, they'd probably say our rival. Our rival is the Bucks, just yeah. because of yeah. all the extra stuff that's happened this season. Uh, but I mean, they're proven champions. I've never played a playoff game, so I don't want to call it a real rivalry yet, but I mean, I hope we play it in the playoffs and it could have a little bit more juice to it. That'd be cool. Yeah. What year is this for you? This is year four. Okay, so you weren't in Indiana f at first, right? No, I was in SAC. Yep. You're in SAC, then you come to Indiana. Yep. And then you immediately, be it feels like this is a fresh team because I've obviously been here for now since 2009, quick math, 15 years. So Roy, Paul, George, Lance, that whole team obviously had great runs, and then we ran into the Heatles every single yeah. year, seemingly. Yeah. And then the Pacers kind of, I mean, like, completely out of conversation. Yeah. Now we're filling up the arena. Gamebridge is filled up again, right? Yeah, do sure. you feel the support of Indianapolis and Indiana? Is there a buzz, like, okay, we got a team that we can really run and do some stuff? 100%. I feel that all throughout the city, to be honest. Like, 
Uh, even with what the Colts are doing, with, with, with getting a-, a Rich and, and and that group, I think is exciting too. Uh, but for us, I think that for so long after P and those guys left, and Zabonis is a great player, and they had other guys, but mm-hmm. like I think for the more casual basketball fan, it wasn't necessarily appealing. You know, like yeah, post basketball is not appealing unless it's Jokic or. Joel or Shaq, you know what I mean? Like you have that, two different voices. I do. People say that all the time. Did you hear? I, I oh, mean, this yeah. is, yeah. I, I, I didn't know if it was our microphone. I never <laughs> catch it. You know, like I watch podcasts after, and I'm like, dang, my voice changed. I, I don't mid do sentence. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys? I didn't do. Oh it yeah. I wrote it, it just, down. Two yeah. different voices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wrote it down. It just happened. It just happens that way naturally. Sometimes it's pretty cool. It's like. Uh, you know, Lil Wayne talked about how Drake can sing and rap. Yeah. He's like, okay, he can rap and then he can sing in the in the chorus if you need to. You almost have that. Like you can you can accent yourself with a different voice. Sick. Yeah. You, you don't control it though. No, I don't control I have no control over it. It just happens. Are you a chirper on the court? I am a chirper on the court. I like to think so. Yeah, okay. So we're talking a lot of shit. Yeah, I think so. Anybody on the other side that you've ever got into some verbal tussles with that you have massive respect for? Um you know I would say I would say Dylan Brooks. And mm, okay. I say that to say, I think that Dylan Brooks is an elite competitor in the league, and he obviously gets paid to defend. And one thing that he does is he doesn't duck smoke. He takes on all challenges on a nightly basis. But, uh, yeah, we've, we've had a little, a couple verbal battles this year. It's been a lot of fun. Okay, I enjoy that. So the basketball people, yeah, NBA guys, you guys know each other since you're little kids in AAU? Yeah. And you kind of know who's going to be the NBA guys? Is that an accurate – for sure, yeah. I think that that is usually how it goes. So you know all the guys pretty much in the NBA. I would say so, yeah. Is that the reason why there isn't as much smoke maybe as there used to be? Because you guys all kind of know, like, hey, we're going to be the ones that are going to be carrying the NBA, even as, like, teenagers, yeah, seemingly? Yeah, I think, I think so. I think we all grow up together. We know each other from being kids. And, um, you know, like, there's guys in the NBA who I've known literally since I was, like, like me and Tyler Hero, we were on AU teams together. We were in fifth grade. Like, mm-hmm. I know all his wow. – you know what I mean? Damn. I know his whole family – and that's just somebody back home, but not to include other guys around the league who I've literally played against my whole life. You know what I mean? So I think that you just get to know people through the course of eight tournaments. You're in hotels together. You're 13, 14 years old, running around a hotel, going mm-hmm. to the pool, playing. We're going to be millionaires. Yeah. yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Is that why you won't play defense against them? Or what's I, I, I got, that might be the problem. That might be the problem. <laughs> Kendrick Parker said that, didn't he? Yeah, he oh, did. Yeah. He said you got to ask him, too. Yeah, he, he said, did. I want you to ask Tyrese Halliburton why he doesn't understand there's two sides of the floor or whatever yep. when there's championships. So is the that the narrative the about you guys? I, yeah, it is. it is. Why? Why is that the narrative? I don't like that. I don't know. You Especially because I like you as a human. I appreciate that. You know, I think <laughs> Shaq said it best around the in-season tournament. We're not, we were 28th and whatever we were in defense at the time. We just need to get enough timely stops at the right times. How can we get enough stops at the right time to go on a little run? Hey, that in-season tournament was awesome for you. Yeah, come on, dude. We look look good, right? You enjoyed that? Oh, that was a lot of fun, bro. In in Vegas, too, like, the the worst part about, I mean, it's hard. Like, basketball, football, they're not necessarily neutral location sports. You know, like, the Super Bowl is more of a spectacle. But, like, the only problem with the in-season tournament was you get to the championship and, like, I'm expected to get fans from the Pacers to fly from Indy to Vegas in two days to go to a game. Yeah. Where, like, L.A., they drove three hours. Like, it was nothing but Lakers fans. Oh, okay, really a little bit of an away game. It was, it was. But that's not why they were they were the better team. But, yeah, yeah, no, it was, it, was, it, was, it was a lot of fun in there. We're wrapping up our ESPN program. We will continue on YouTube and ESPN Plus with Tyrese Halliburton, who will be competing in the three-point contest on Saturday night at the NBA All-Star Game here in Indianapolis, Indiana. We'll be back tomorrow with a Feel Good Friday. Be a friend, tell a friend something nice. It might change your life. Goodbye. 15300 is when we were out there. So mid conversation, you're giving a great answer. I know how long you were going to go. I didn't know if that other voice was going to show up either. <laughs> so we are going to have to figure out how to get there. That's nice. We did it. Thank That's you. Nice. That's point guard. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean, uh-huh. we're doing uh, the whole assist. Speaking of, Tone Diggs got a question for yeah, you. Yeah, I got Terry. a question about the All Star Game on Sunday. Has, is there a group a group text, or have you guys had a conversation yet about? You know, there was always the, the the in the past where you know there was the one on one matchups. There it would get a little ratcheted up in the fourth quarter. Has there been talk yet about how it's handled uh, going into Sunday night's game? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think uh, the NBA has made a big emphasis on us taking this game more seriously. Okay. Here so, we you go. Guys, so you guys, have heard, you guys have heard that? Yes. Uh, there was actually they met with every team at the start of the year because they wanted everybody to take the in season tournament serious because it's the first year. And they wanted all the All Stars to take the game more serious. Okay. So, what does that mean? Um, just to be more competitive, because I guess the ratings were down last year for the All Star game. Oh uh, no! Because nobody took it serious. But you know what I will say? 
Giannis didn't play, and that affected it a lot because Giannis has one speed. Giannis is going to go <laughs> 150% at all times. So when that guy sets the tone, everybody kind of goes that way. Well, he didn't play, so I feel like all right, we're, everybody's coasting. And it was my first All-Star game, so I was just happy to be there. I, I was like, I'll do whatever. That's what everybody else <laughs> yeah. is doing. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, is I'm, it I'm, like if, if LeBron then sets the tone on the other side for, for the West end? Like I assume that like him, LeBron setting the tone and Giannis setting the tone. I don't like think any of us are expecting four quarters. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I don't think any of us are expecting four quarters. I mean, how can you? Well, I mean, his competition are keeping score. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You know, <laughs> Bro, there's, a lot, what, there's a lot of guys on the roster. That's what <laughs> people say. You One get win. to be there. Yeah, they, there's a bunch of the cliche things. But, like, I think we do – I don't think anybody's expecting all four quarters. I think just towards the end, like, want to have some moments, you know, from the For All-Star sure. game. It sounds like there's a chance that that takes place this year. 100%. 100%. Uh, usually, you know, in the fourth quarters, and I think they do the – like the Elam ending where it's like they set a point and you got to, you know, get to it to win. Uh, but, yeah, I – I'm I got planning some highlights for myself. I'm 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 excited for How it. How old are you? I'm 23. Turned 24 at the end of the month. Okay. Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Tyrese. Happy birthday. Tyrese. Leap year. Happy leap birthday. year. Happy birthday. What does that mean? Every four years. 29th. February 29th. Oh, oh really? I'm turning six. Damn. <laughs> You're the youngest motherfucking all star <laughs> yeah. in the history of the NBA. Calvin Cambridge. Calvin well, Cambridge. Look at oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, true. Go in the opposite like direction. The um so like it feels like the next generation in the NBA though, solid, right? Yeah. We feel very good about the future yeah. of basketball and everything. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. I think the cool part about it is you see all the young guys starting to come in, but like LeBron's not slowing down, Steph's not slowing down, KD's not slowing down. So I think the passing of the torch is a little over over talked about, but you know, it'll come eventually. Those guys will. I mean, I don't think LeBron, those guys can play till they're 50, but I mean, they defy the odds every day. So Where are you from originally? Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Okay, shout out to Wisconsin. Yes, yep. sir. And shout out to the United States of America. Yes, sir. Now, a lot of international players coming in. What does yeah. that do for the league? What does that do for you? Do you guys have to play different? Because, like, these big whites come in. <laughs> hey, they're coming in, and they're showing clips of, like, what they grow up playing in. Yeah, yeah. With, like, you got flares, like flares. flares and torches <laughs> and like it, it's Fires. insane, right? They, they're playing like professionals as like 13, 14, 15. Yeah. Is that change anything with American basketball growing up? What, what do we, you, what do you think about the future of that? I, I think that they come in with just such a knowledge for the game and understand how to play the right way. And I think that that not only affects the NBA, but also the FIBA level as well. Like you talk about what the dream team has done for the game of basketball mm -hmm. playing internationally and everybody's seen that. Now you got guys like Jokic, Luka, the bonus, Sangoon is coming up. You got a lot of guys Wemby. in the NBA who are Wemby, like kind of progressing the game. So I think what it does is make our sport even bigger. I would say behind soccer, we're probably the second biggest sport in the world, top to bottom. And I think that that increases viewership and just increases the talent level. Have you done any international trips where you go do camps anywhere? I play, well, I just played World Cup last year and, you know, the goal is to play in the Olympics this summer. So, Hell yeah. yeah. Are you on a team? Uh, well, they announced the top, whatever, 30, 40 guys and they'll announce the team. Um, I'm assuming here soon, so we'll see. He so was the like best one last year. Yeah. He basically carried the United States last year. Oh, yeah, you and uh, Reeves. Yeah. Well, carried us to a uh, fourth-place finish, so nothing nothing exciting. What the fuck? Is I, that tr trust me, I know. I know. Who did we lose to? We lost to Lithuania. Oh, uh, Vakaitis. Yeah, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> that guy's a player. And we, and we lost go. to Canada in the third-place game. Uh, Canada? And Germany. We can't, can't lose to Canada. Canada's oh, no. good. Canada's good now. And what? Good. Hockey? Say that. No, Curling? Canada, Canada Everything. They're better, they are they are better at, they are good. at basketball now. They're good. Yeah. Huh? They got good. SGA. Steve Nash playing? What are we talking <laughs> about? Dog. We'll get them again this summer. We'll get them again this summer. We're excited about no, it. No, they're saying they're going to get you guys again. That's a good – we're all excited for it. They had, I mean, they I'm had bummed out about that. I just learned we lost to Canada in basketball. I didn't even know that was possible. They had Canada, a Purdue kid. They did. Who? Oh, Edie? Edie was playing. Edie. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Is he in the NBA? No. He will be, though. Hey, I've seen Edie. He's fucking huge. Massive human being. Eight feet. Omos level. How about those? Omos. Yeah. <laughs> Omos. <laughs> he played UCF. Yeah, he did. O Omos yeah. played basketball back in the day. Yeah. What do you think about the size? Like, you got to be born to be in the NBA, right? Don't you think you have to have it? I think so. I think what's funny is people always come, like, dang, you're tall, but, like, I'm one of the smaller dudes on the team. I'm 6'5", and, like, there's a lot of guys taller. I play point guards. A lot of dudes taller than me. So, uh, yeah, I feel like you got to be you got to be born that way. But there's other guys who define the odds. T.J. McConnell, other guys like Hell that. Hell yeah. Pittsburgh. Dog. Duke and Grant. Yeah, you dog. Do, yeah, absolute yeah. dog. Yeah. You love your team? I love team? my team. I love my team. Locker room good. Locker room good. Yeah, we got a lot of good guys. Do they all want Cody to finish his story or what? I, I think so. We talk about it pretty regularly. Oh, come so on. Everybody it's... comes to me for the updates. Everybody wants to come to me like I'm the 
I'm and you're a WWE guy. I'm a big WWE guy. Yeah. You want him to finish the story? Yeah, I do want him to finish the story. Oh. I hope that we get Hollywood Rock back. You're a mark. Do you think we can we get the theme song back though? The sa- the guitar, mm-hmm. the wear the leather vest. I need all that. The Rock back. says. Yeah, I need all that back. The Rock oh, says. Well, he did on our show. He, he said did. the Rock says this, and as soon as I heard it, as he was like sitting four feet away from me, I'm like. Holy shit! Yeah. We got heel rock. And then Cody came at you with the Nuggets line, and hey, what's that all about? You were you were you, you were flustered there in the moment. <laughs> was I? <laughs> yeah, I, think I so. thought I was pretty calm. Post. I, I, I was like, oh man, I don't know what he's gonna respond. I thought they're gonna give you a mic. Yeah, they just let him continue. Yeah, on. I don't know if the arena heard what I said, but they did see my face. And I, guess, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess they were able to read my lips. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, I think the Rock is. I think it is Hollywood. Yeah. I don't, they tell me nothing. But I want the theme song. I need the, the, yeah, but the Titantron with the gonna, go to the the building with the lights and. I need all that. Why are, you, why are you such a big WWE fan, you think? Um, my Uncle Gary, he's deceased now, but he... Rest you know, in back, peace, Uncle Gary. Rest, rest in peace. peace. Uncle back Gary. in the day, you know, he used to pay for pay-per-views. Well, he knew if I cried, my mom would buy the pay-per-view. So he would always come over and make my, and get me to cry to buy the pay-per-view. <laughs> yes. So he got me into it. Like, my first event remembering watching is WrestleMania 19. That's the first one that I can really, really remember. Stone Cold, The Rock. We what? Got, uh, Jericho, Shawn Michaels. It was... Elite event, elite event. Okay, do you think that has contributed to the way you play? Because I saw you, uh-huh. I saw you do this no look throw pass Filth. against Utah, and then you even did one of these. I think yeah. the entire thing. I think it, it it's definitely contributed to your style. For sure, for sure. I think at home I I can be, you know, a little bit more of a face, but I enjoy the, being a heel on the road. That's my, that's a, I get a little persona on the road. That's what I like. Favorite yeah. place to play other than Gamebridge? Boston, of course. Boston and Milwaukee. History. I mean, who? Wait, they spit on you up there in Boston? Well, it's no. a lot of history in there. I feel like there's ghosts in there talking Bingo. to me. Oh, yeah? I like it. I love it. You've played well up there? I have played well oh, yeah. up there historically. Do you, yeah. Is there any place that you just have not really uh, been able to go bananas in? You play good all the time? No, no. I'm Can here. I bank on you being good every night I come watch the Pacers play? If you're there, for sure. If you're there, for sure. Yeah. At home, I don't know too. if you know this. The Pacers threatened to sue me a few years back, so I do hold a little. Is that true? Yeah, I, I hold a little bit of a grudge. Well, I wasn't there, so we can fix this. Well, I know. It feels like it's a new team. It's a new it, And era. you have made it very difficult. I so, want to let you know for me to hold a grudge. I'm a great grudge holder. Okay, let's fix that. Because we got I got four courtside seats. My mom, my girl, there every game, but you're more than welcome to join us. Come on, let's get it done. Well, it's also something to do. You know, yeah. that, that, that has been something that I've actually thought about plenty of times because I will hold a grudge for the, my entire life. Let's mm-hmm. fix that. Let's fix that. We can fully squash it. I'm here now. Hell yeah. We can fully- and you're fun to watch. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you, are a, you are a showman out let's there. Let's fix that. I enjoy, I mean, are we throwing it off the backboard every night? Um, not every night. You know, I think it was just in the, in the heat of the moment. It just, the Red Sea opened up. I, saw, I was like, saw the backboard and, like, why not? Shit, let's make shit up. <laughs> yeah. You've made it real. I want to let you know, I've thought about you yep. directly when holding grudges. Really? Yeah, talking to the boys. I'm like, Pacers got a game tonight. Would be cool to go down there. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> and, then, and then immediately like, oh, Halliburton. Halliburton's bad. Halliburton's yeah. going to do something so sick tonight. And yeah, this is just one of them. It's, let's, let's fix it. Uh, what can we do? What yeah, can but I, I can't change. You know, everybody's saying I'm changing. You know, I don't want to get soft out there. But I would like to watch you play basketball. So I'm kind of tor- – you're – Town's got a question for you, Tyrese. Okay, yeah. please. Yeah, we, do. we we always talk about the Final Four when it goes to football stadiums. Yeah, the backdrop and how and how different it is shooting. Have you taken advantage yet? Have you gone into Lucas Oil to shoot yet? For do Saturday you shoot in night? there? Is Have that you? where? So I went to Lucas Oil today. Okay. To do my three point practice. So that's where that's happening. Yes. Okay. So the All Star Games in Cambridge. All Star Games in Cambridge, but I the contest, basketball arena contest. All those are in Lucas Oil. I think the celebrity game is also in Lucas Oil yes. tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. How are you not playing in that? Well, I'm in Balkan season. But I mean, there's I think CJ Stroud. You could have played, bro. Yeah. Well, I'm commentating. My I don't need to debut my jumper this evening. But it's in Indy. It's for you. You could. You should have played. No, no. Now, once again, remember, I just told we you about us. my whole, the whole thing. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Puka's the representative. Yeah, yeah. Puka's yes. the representative of this show. Yes. Puka Nakua is the representative of this show. Oh, okay. I don't know if he knows that, but like, he came on the show, said he wants to play. I guess he's. He's going. He said he's nice. He, yeah, he, he says he's very nice. At, he's at, he's playing. Yes. Yeah, so he's have playing. you guys seen Gui Santos on the Warriors? It's his doppelganger. No. no. Oh, I saw oh, it the other day. Yeah, no, yeah. it looked yeah. just like him. Like, he checked in the game. I was out. I saw it the other day, yeah. I was like, Puka. And he didn't <laughs> yeah. turn around. It was, was trending. I he thought did. it was him. Yeah, yeah, it was a different name on the back of the jersey, but I thought it was potentially Puka. <laughs> but yeah, Puka's going to play there. He is like. He's excited. He He's talking. I know CJ Stroud 
He's very good. And they showed some highlights of him when he was talking with Micah. Yeah, he had 40 on Jaime Hawkins. Boom. Yeah. yeah, the second guy in Miami. Yeah. yeah. I watched the highlights. He was pulling up. He looked good. He, he has been very open about being the well, best know, basketball well, you know, player. Every football player thinks they can hoop. Not everyone. No. Okay. Not you? I can shoot. I mean, I got, but right now I can't. You know, bulk bulk yeah. bulk is bulk. <laughs> bulk From is here, bulk it's easy. You know, I mean, I can't. But now's every, not time. You didn't feel that in college? Every football player was like, and I, I'm nice. Oh. Oh. Tyrese. Oh, that's the first for one. You, that's good. Oh. oh. For Tyrese Halliburton. Yeah, see, that's why. Yeah. Oh, it's, 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 it's you know what I mean? We, got, we don't have to touch that we need away. to debut. But I'll be on a commentary. I'll be on a commentary. Oh, you're on a commentary for what? For what? Like the first quarter of the All-Star game. Or Celebrity All-Star game. Oh, okay. Okay. So the beef is, is it starting to come What's down that? a little bit? The Pacers beef? Well, Adam Silver came. Yeah, oh, he, he's squashed. He's, he's no, he didn't squash it. No, it's in the football stadium. Yeah, yeah. And it's the <laughs> NBA. Go. Okay. So the that's how I, still. What, what what needs to be done? Tell me what needs. To, what can we do? Well, Tyrese, you need to uh, give me an offer. Give me a. You're gonna need you need sixteen ten day contracts uh, <laughs> for all the boys. For all we have an open roster spot. All so the we boys. Can, we can keep cycling through that. <laughs> we need Zito to be an equipment manager that's for right, at least. Zito, we can make I that. I want him on. I gave him a jersey today. He got a. I just gave him uh, a jersey. Oh, that baby Zito, baby. That is, that's, a, that's a shocker. I need <laughs> Zito. I need Zito on the uh, on the broom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On the broom. I can. Hey, there's some things I can I can make happen. So let's figure it out. No. You need to stop playing the style of basketball you play. Why? Because it's ruining who I am as a human with the Pacers. Like that is, that is a real deal. But being so exciting. Yeah, and electrifying. You, you, want me tell you, you want me to tell you the truth? Again, I'm usually the face at home, but when I heard you were coming to the game with the Jazz owner, I was like, oh, I'm a heel today. I was like, we're winning this game no matter what. You guys did too. Yeah, he, Brian Smith and I have the greatest night down here. Yeah. That's a hell of a run. He's a good guy, though. He's a yeah. good guy. Though. Good guy, good guy. That like, was the first no text what. I ever got from you. Yeah. That was the first text I ever got from you. I got a text, you coming to the game tonight? And I responded, like, yup, with the Jazz owner. I think I told you, right? I don't even think I replied after that. No, you did not. We're winning the game. Fuck that. We're winning that. Dude, that's not. awesome. That's my first time back, I think, for a Pacers game in like years. Like years. That was my I first. told you, bro, We got I got courtside seats for you. You just come on. No, I'll buy them. I'll support the Why well, You don't have to. You sit, my mom would love to sit. That'd be sweet. Hey, your family's awesome. I think they're pretty cool. Your dad <laughs> Your dad Weapon. came up to me. Your dad came up to me. I think at a WWE event. He was like, Pat, love you, man. And then as we dapped up, he said, don't you ever speak bad about my son. And I was like, whose <laughs> fucking dad is this? I didn't even know whose dad, I didn't know whose dad it was. And they were like, that's uh, Tyrese Halliburton's dad. I'm like, oh, oh okay. Love, love oh, this guy's mom. That was a time. What a great time that was. Fastlane was amazing. Yeah, Fastlane was awesome. Indianapolis is a great host. I think All-Star Weekend mm -hmm. is going to be phenomenal here. Raw's here in June? Yes. Okay. Great. Trying to get Mania? We're trying to get WrestleMania bad. Uh, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for it. I'll, I'll miss a game if I have to. Well, <laughs> Don't we, tempt me. we need to host uh, the NBA Finals as well. Yeah, I'm with, come on, let's do it. Legitimately, real expectations because the way NBA conversations happen, there's like four teams potentially that could go win it. Yeah. The way the NBA set up, any team could win in I, the end? Yeah, I think this is the most parity you're seeing in our league probably mm -hmm. ever. Like, nobody knows it. I mean, Boston and Denver are the two heavy – Favorites, everybody would say they expect to see them in the finals, but shit, anything could happen. I mean, I think that's the exciting part about our league right now. There it is. That was two voices. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, there Big it is. You know, sometimes when I lock in, it comes down. Oh, okay. <laughs> and when I get excited, it comes back up. Go. Maybe it ebbs and flows. AJ's it's got a question for, uh, from an attic in Ohio. Packers legend, Packers yes. legend. Yes. Hey, yeah. Uh, there was, yeah, it was, I was listening to hear the second voice we just got a little bit, so that was nice. You, I think you can control it, it maybe it feels like, but going back to <laughs> your, uh, your three-point contest situation, yeah. is there any worry from basketball players, hey, this is going to mess up my shot for the regular season? I'm thinking of, like, baseball players yeah. doing the home run derby, and they think it messes their swing up. I don't think so. I think it's just you have to practice because you got to know how to grab the ball from the rack. You know, like I think there's like a science to it. That's Some, such a small thing. Yeah, like yeah. sometimes you – like that first ball, you can just grab it, right? But by the by the third or fourth ball, I, I touch it with my right hand and roll it to the front of the rack to grab it. Okay. But some guys would reach all the way back and grab it. So Someone like you should roll it to the front, I think. Don't you think as you shoot, shouldn't someone be there rolling them each to the front? I don't think so anybody's allowed to spot? touch the ball. Oh, so there's rolls around. I don't think anybody's allowed to. So I have to reach back, roll it, and shoot it. So I think that I don't. I don't feel that way. I feel like uh, it's just about getting your pace down. Like some people shoot slower than others, so you gotta, you know, understand how many how many seconds can you let go of the ball and really stare at it and look at it and what's the right time to just get. Are it you going. able to watch it go through or no? I think so. I shoot pretty quick. Yeah, I feel like. Gotta hit the money balls. The money balls. Yeah, last right? rack. Four point. Save it for the last rack. 
The, so how is it? It's not the fifth ball at each rack. So it's the so it's you pick where your money rack is. So most people pick the last rack. Which one's yours? Last rack. Last rack, of course. Four four regular basketballs. Those are all worth one point. Money ball at the back is two points. So it's five spots, and then there's two. Uh, I think it. Three point contest is presented by Starry, I think, this year. Yep. Oh, yeah. Still a company. Uh -huh. Is it Starry? Shout out Zion, so. yeah. Yep. You got to grab that's the four three point ball. That's a deep one. You got to make those for three points, and those are at both the slots. Okay. Well, hey, go win it. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do my best. You a Packers fan? I, um, you know, I have a long history with the Packers. Oh, like, Ooh, I, so I, I was a diehard Brett Favre fan back in the day. I know. Yeah. Okay. It's we'll, okay. We'll go for football, sure. football player. Football yeah. player. Football player, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then. When he went to the Vikings, I wore a Brett Favre jersey to a football game, to a preseason football game with Tyler Hero. We went to the game together. And I'll never forget some old drunk dude. was like, fuck you. Oh. I was like nine years old. And I was like, I will never cheer for the Packers. Man. I hate them. <laughs> okay. And in so that moment, like I decided that. And then I hated them for a little bit. Favre retired. It's kind of a football free agent for a little bit. My dad's a diehard Cowboys fan. So I decided to be a Cowboys fan for like a year or two. Yeah. Wasn't fun. Yeah. And then uh, got drafted. And then left Wisconsin. And I was like, you know what? I could cheer for the Packers now. And I started cheering for the Packers. And my boy Brock Purdy went to college together. So I'm, a, I'm kind of a Packers Niners at this point. Okay. Ooh. And hey, the Colts. Hey, Colts, so come on. Yeah, Colts. absolutely. Colts. Come on. Yeah, you did great on the – You saw on, it? On the, yeah, I was there. It's, it's stressful, right? Yeah. You don't believe that? No. You got but what if you that miss? Day. If you miss – You're miss not going to miss. It's a big game. What's your hit? What, the you're baby a hammer fucking thing? adult, Tyrese. You're not gonna miss it. You're a professional athlete. Yeah, you're not but gonna... I, I think that in golf too, and then I swing and fuck up my back. <laughs> yeah, but golf ball, the golf ball is this big. Well, the hammer's pretty little. It's a small it is hammer. a tiny hey, hammer. Should, hey, so I was yeah. the first person to ever swing the hammer at the anvil at those. You were the first one. First one ever. Was it your idea? That, where did the anvil come from? I don't listen. We're not going to talk about ideas at that Lucas Oil Stadium. Okay, the whole thing. sorry, my I'm not going to do that. Okay, uh, my bad. But let's say the hammer was about this size. Yeah. <laughs> it, this is. It was about this size, and the the actual anvil itself was about this big. Yeah. And it was on the sideline. Yeah. And as soon as I got there, they gave me the hammer, and I'm like, this can't be. <laughs> this can't be what it is. So what it has become with up on the concourse with the lights and the big sledgehammer. Smoke. smoke it's awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah. It is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you swing that hand. What are you talking about? You swing I think it. I was more stressed going into it than when I got in front of it. I was like, We need you to do it more. I'm, I'm the city loves it. you, Tyree. Yes. Really? Yeah, for city real. loves yes. you. Oh, yeah. I love the city. Well, we're yeah. lucky to have you, brother. And have that. a phenomenal All-Star weekend. And uh, thanks for representing the beautiful city of Indianapolis as well as you do. Okay, I appreciate that. Can I, can I give you something? I know it's a Pacers beef, but I got I to gotta give you something. Which voice are you going to use? Uh, it changed again? No. no, no I was no, just wondering. If oh, I, I don't know what voice here. I'm going to use, but I want to give you something while I'm here. Okay, yeah. do that. Okay, come on. Mike, let me see it. Is it a ball? It might be an honorary. Yeah, it might be an honorary. Jersey here. Oh yes. Ooh. Oh yes. Ooh. I love that. Is that the that's the uh that the city? The city edition or whatever? Yeah, we got your 52. I know you're in bulk this season, so Yeah, I am. Oh Look at this. Huh? Sweet. Pacers beef squash. There it is. How about it? Right squash. there. There it is. Right it's there. Gone. Squash. It's gone. Yeah, I don't know if that's Welcome true. Back. Yeah, yeah. I'm a Howl Burt fan. Okay.